Hi everyone and welcome to this episode of the London Dairy View episode 21. <laughs> uh, I have to say that every time and tonight we're going to do things a little differently. Instead of doing our hot topics, um, we're going to have our guest Connie Rock um, start with us tonight and we're going to learn an awful lot about ways to stay healthy and the art of Tai Chi which is something I know very little about. So Connie, thank you so much thank for, for being with us. Oh, I'm Come delighted on. to be here. Thank you for inviting me. And I would just like to point out that Connie is our Tai Chi instructor over at the London Dairy Senior Center right. every yeah. Friday. Friday. At 12.45 is the yep. class, and people can just drop in. They can drop to in. To take the class. Mm -hmm. Beginners are always welcome. It's okay. an easy class to follow. So if someone feels they haven't done it before, they don't mm -hmm. know anything that it's about, drop in. It's very friendly, very easy to follow. Mm -hmm. Now, how so, many years have you yeah. done it at the center? At London Dairy, I think probably. At least 10. Yeah, because you, when I started there, you was there, yeah. and that was 10 years ago. I think ago. at least 10. I've been teaching 15. Yeah. So I think at least 10. Yeah. And so when I, we started I, out, it was a small, you know, mm -hmm. a small group. Mm -hmm. It was fairly unknown yeah, at that I time. I did it then. Yeah, yeah. And then word gets around, and then people <laughs> realize how beneficial and relaxing mm -hmm. it is, mm -hmm. so people would start joining and joining. And a couple of times, we had to open the sliders and expand the room, yeah, right. because we had yeah, so many. space. Yeah. yeah which is good. Yeah. So what's an average group now, Connie, would you say? The average group now is probably the average maybe 15 to 17. That's quite a good size. Yeah. It's a big size group. Wow. Yeah. yeah, it is a good group. That's yeah. And then after a while, another p important part besides the health benefits is you get to form like a Tai Chi community. Mm -hmm. So people come, they have a place to come. The center is very friendly anyway, I'll have to say yeah. that. Yeah. So people get up in the morning, they may not have people to socialize with or close family, but they know that they mm -hmm. can come to the center, have to get up, you know, get, get yourself presentable and what have you, a place to go. You meet friends, mm -hmm. of like-minded mm -hmm. friends, and you get to do a very gentle exercise at the same time. At the same time. And I think that's what keeps them going. I've had some ladies that have been going there for years and yeah. years. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. So Connie, how did you get into Tai Chi, and, and tell us a little bit about your past, like what led oh, you to this? Oh, how I got yeah, in. Yeah, how did you? It was very interesting. I started, I think Tai Chi first became known on the East Coast just over 30 years ago. Before then, it was all yoga, yoga very mm. popular, yoga, and, and I was into yoga, and I did yoga for many okay. years. And when Tai Chi first came around, I thought, well, I'll give it a try and see what it's like. But in the meantime, I was, I was doing, you know, the yoga classes. Mm -hmm. So I gave it one try, I think it was at the Nashville Y, I'm not sure where, and it didn't seem to be painful enough. I wanted something where you really had to work your body, you know, so I said, no, that's not for me. That's not for me. Is that the premise, no pain, no gain? Yeah, no, well, you know the American way, no pain, no gain. No, no, that, that's too easy for me. But then, 30 years later down the road, I tried it again, it worked perfect. Perfect for me, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I was just lucky along the way, you know how sometimes fate ten tends to point you right. in certain directions, right. that I, my first instructor it was at the Drakett Senior Center in Drakett, Mass, and he, is re he was really, William Barron, he was wonderful, mm -hmm. but he's really what I would call a teacher's teacher. Okay. So when we first started out, there was maybe 10 ladies in the class, and at that point, you know, we were all well over our 60s, and he was very... Uh, very pr precise and very demanding. Now, there are different types of Tai Chi that really require that. And that's the type of instructor that he was. He was more like a teacher's teacher. I mean, he would give you a, a very small lesson each week. You went home and he expected you to practice it and get up in front of the class the next day and do that. Mm -hmm. And of course, a lot of people are we don't, we don't. We're not looking for a regiment. We want something that's easy, that's fun, a little beneficial. Yeah. Yeah. But I love structure, so for me, it fit perfectly. So he got me aside and he asked me, he said, you know, do you think that you'd ever consider teaching because the mm -hmm. need is growing in the area? Oh, and I thought, oh, well, I'll think about it. I'll mm -hmm. think about it. But then I mentored with him for about a year. And then I went, there's a wonderful place in Andover, Yang's Fitness Center. They have a wonderful teaching staff there. Mm -hmm. And I took classes there. Uh, also in Qigong, which is a, more like the exercise part of Tai Chi. Qigong. Qigong, yeah. Qigong, Qi is the Qigong, energy, Qigong. the human Qigong. energy that goes through the body. Okay. And then from there, I just kept going. I got a certified 
through the New England School of Tai Chi in Holliston, Mass. I was going to be certified. That's I, you don't have to be, okay. as far as I know. You don't have to be. But I knew it was going to be a good idea to be. Right. And plus, I wanted to, to learn really as much learn. as I could. Right. 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 So I got certified through them, and it's just been, you know, a, a, an upward journey ever since. I've changed a lot of the styles. You know, that's the good part about teaching is that you learn from the students. Right. I learned what would work, what didn't work. Right. Right. And so I think that we've got it honed down now at the Senior Center. It's a really good program. It's not, some types of Tai Chi, there's like, like one-legged kicks and jump around and karate mm -hmm. chops and all that business. <laughs> and it's great to watch the young people do it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> But ours is more, it's based on the movements of Yang style Tai Chi, which is like the classic way of doing Tai Chi. Mm -hmm. It's very slow, very rounded That's movements, very expansive. Mm -hmm. So that when the people leave, even after the first class, what I'll hear is that it's so relaxing, I didn't mm -hmm. think I could do it. Oh. I feel so relaxed. Mm -hmm. So that's the main thing, I think, about the way that we do it there is that it's, anyone can mm -hmm. join at any time. The class is geared so that whether you've taken it or not, mm -hmm. there's some, like I say, there's some that have been doing it for years. Mm -hmm. right. Others might come in for the first time, but they're able to follow along enough so that they don't feel lost. Right. They're able to relax, right. mm -hmm. and, and they always come back. Yeah. That's, that's yeah. what I've heard. It's, you've got quite yeah. the group yeah. that now. It is. It is, it is a, a good lot of followers that we have. out there, yeah. Connie. Well yeah. done. It is. And it's funny because as we were setting up tonight, Aaron, um, who, you know, who is behind the scenes doing all of this and making all this happen for us, and we were talking about one in a little while down the road in the program, we're going to actually do a little demonstration, and mm -hmm. Connie's going to teach us. But Aaron was asking if is, if it was like you described, is it the like the kicks and like so how much space are we getting? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, oh, is it going to be? Oh, yeah. you know, yeah. And, yeah. and then I'm like, oh, none of this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> and from and from what you know, Kathy and Bonnie had told me and and Kirby also too. It's like no, it's more of it's kind of really tying in yoga, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Like the the it's concentration. It's like a slow, and slow form of yoga. Yes, you're right. You're right. It's mm -hmm. like uh, Tai Chi is is also known as a meditation and movement because it's so that's relaxing you have to learn to slow that. down wow. and I, I found that that's one of the things that is so hard for some of the people you know our c culture really mm -hmm. fast always paced. on the go boom 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 yeah. always on the go multitasking all the time mm, yes, yes your mind your body's that's doing me. something your mind is a hundred <laughs> miles away yeah yeah but when you're getting the tai chi class you have to really focus on what your body is doing yeah, it slows down. So, so sometimes the hardest part for some people is slowing down, mm -hmm. is moving, right. you know, slow, relaxed movements. Yeah. yeah. And how long is a class typically? A half an hour? One hour. One hour. And usually the first half of the class, we do the qigong, the stretching and turning and exercises, and they're very gentle. And they're done slowly enough so that if anyone has a problem with any, you know, like lower back right. pain or hips or what have you, the movements are slow enough so that if you're feeling any discomfort, you can just stop and back off, and okay. there's no danger to be done. And I also want to say we do have I mean, we have one or two people that come in that are in wheelchairs, that are able to do it. You can do Sit it sitting down as well. Yeah. Yes, you oh can. My yes. You can. Yeah. I usually yeah, it's usually done standing up, but we always have chairs so if people start feeling tired or they their legs are getting tired. Nice. They yeah. can sit down and then do the upper body movements. That's excellent. Yeah. yeah. It is. It's, yeah. it's good. Yeah. I remember. I did it for a couple of years. Yes, I remember. I know. Do you remember? <laughs> you? Yes, I do. Yeah. I'm thinking maybe I should do it yeah. tomorrow's class with her yeah. because I have to get my blood pressure checked at three o'clock. <laughs> so maybe Kinda. this will help me to ha go it in. It does. It will. <laughs> and it will go to help the doctor's relax. office and be like, okay, yeah. you're good. You don't have high blood pressure. Yeah. It yeah. is relaxing it though, because when I did it, I oh my god. It, but like you said, which was kind of funny, my mind is always going, mm -hmm. going, going. Yeah. yeah. And I'd be like, the first few times I did, I'd be like, oh, I should be doing this, I should be yeah. doing that, you know. But then as you go yeah. along with it, then you realize, you know, just block it out for this hour, right. and you got the rest of the day. Yeah. Yeah. Now you do you play music when you. Give the class. Yes, I do. I probably not everyone does, but I do. And when I first started out, I thought, well, I have I have to really go by the book on this, so it has to be, you know, a flute or you know, a Chinese music or mm -hmm. something. And I did that for years, and I do have some nice CDs on that. Mm -hmm. But I've started introducing uh, a little more like uh, American, mm -hmm. but 
but like semi-classic. Mm -hmm. No voice, oh, nice. of course, just right. instrumental. Right. Mm. And it's very nice. Mm -hmm. I have a, when we do uh, the form at the end of the class, we take our break after the Qigong. Right. We, t we take like a 10 minute break and everyone gets a chance to gab and get, you know, oh, nice. get their water. Get their, yeah, yeah, get their water, whatever they want to do. And that's an important part of the class yeah. too, is the socializing right. part in the break. Then when we go back, we do the Tai Chi part. And at the end, when we go through what's called the form, which is a sequence of movements all mm. choreographed together, then um, I've been playing uh, Tim Janis, who's a, a local uh, musician and composer. Mm. For, I think he's from Maine. And he yes. has some beautiful songs. And uh, I played that once, and that was it. It was such a hit. Everyone loves it. Oh my God. In fact, I can hear some of them humming behind me as we're, as we're floating through the movements. That's, yeah. yeah. And nice, well, someone be from of. Maine, so mm -hmm. that's yep. pretty Tim great. Janus, Tim yeah. Janus, wow. Yeah, mm. yeah, that, yeah. Uh, yeah very, very nice. Yeah. Um, boy. And um, do you teach in more centers than at the senior center? I teach, uh, I have two classes in Nashua. Yeah. Oh, and I, I have one in Pelham. Wow. Yep. And that's so, so I have like, I go Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Mm -hmm. And that's enough for me. Yeah. 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 Even though it's just one hour, it's mm -hmm. enough. It's, it keeps me healthy. It's, right. it's my, poor, my way of socializing. So right. yeah. Yeah. yeah, and seeing old friends, meeting new ones. Right. And then on my days off, I, I have my own routine that I do. I'm always doing some form of it. Either right. Qigong I was going to ask tai you that, like at mm -hmm. home, Always. is it something that once you learn the moves too, that you could be in your living room or, or before you go to bed at night to kind of relax? Or, Absolutely. You know, Absolutely. When you're having a stressful day, even in the office you could, you know? I yes, mean, you can. You can. You're going to see me in the mm -hmm. town hall now. I'm going to walk into your office. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and she's yes. going to be there doing her thing. That's wonderful. And then you'll be able to join her. Yeah. Yeah. And then I'll Catherine, and then Bonnie, <laughs> Kirby. Yeah. Actually, there is a routine for, uh, for office. If you're working you in the imagine? office, and you know, especially if you're on the computer, yeah. Yeah. And you, and yeah. you get off. Mm. Yeah. Once, once Tai Chi uh, came to this country, like I think it was in the late, well, like I say, about 30 years ago, and you know how the Americans are, we're innovators. So now, if you, there's a Tai Chi for everything. Tai Chi for arthritis. Tai oh, Chi for stress relief. Tai Chi for insomnia. Tai chi, and there's a Tai Chi for office workers. Mm -hmm. That is interesting. <laughs> yeah, wow. I'm, I'm thinking that might be something good that we can incorporate into our, into our yeah. day. I yeah. think that yeah. really, because especially with a lot of the jobs like in, in the town clerk's office, our clerks are amazing, and but they have to sit such long mm. periods of time. Right. You know, yeah. I have the gift that I'm moving, I can go upstairs, right. I can, you know, I can get, yeah, but, but they boy, have but, to stay but, and, you know, when are. you're dealing, and they have to deal with, you know, people that are in good moods, people that have had crises, people, <laughs> that you know got the mm -hmm. wrong information from the motor vehicles mm -hmm. and um, I credit them because it's not for the weak mm -hmm. of heart to do what they do and so often I think you know that um, that if they you know and I want them to feel get up and go in the and move a little and mm -hmm. stretch because yeah. it's yeah. tough to be sitting you know in, uh, in yeah. that one chair for so long you know yeah. sure. until lunch sure but that you know we might have to look that up so yeah. tie cheap for, for the office yeah <laughs> And I know Kevin would be very supportive of it too. He probably yeah, would. he really would be. No, that's mm -hmm. interesting. So they have it now for all different aspects yeah. of it. Probably for moms even, or to parents, I bet. Well, I would assume yeah. parents really yeah, need it. They especially really need it. That's especially right. today. Yeah, that's yeah. Absolutely right. yeah. yeah that's absolutely right. Yeah, that's boy. Well, you know, um, we're actually first time for our London Dairy View doing this, but we're actually going to all be involved in a demonstration, and Connie is going to teach the three of us some of these a moves. A few basic moves. Right, so yeah. we can yeah. get a feel yeah. for it, so you can see what it's like too. Um, but before we actually take a little break so we can get set up and primp and get ready to go and position ourselves, <laughs> um, we've got a couple of announcements that we want to fill you in on things going on. So Bonnie, yes. why don't... Uh, okay, first of all, we're having a craft fair and cookie walk at the Senior Center, November 4th from 9 to 3 and would love for everybody to stop by and support the center. We have tons of baskets, we have lots of food, and plenty of vendors. And our cookie walk is amazing. We have over 2,000 cookies that people take I've a bag. I've never seen a cookie walk and, like it. It's and they fill their bag with it's cookies. Unbelievable. And they have their own choice. But if you have a chance, we'd really love it if you could come by November 4th, 9 to 3. 
Hope to see you there. <laughs> we'll be there. <laughs> we'll, be there. we'll be there all day. Yep. So you really day. should come by and see. You will have a ball and home cooked. What the, oh, there's yeah. burgers, isn't there? Chili. I mean, uh, chili. 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 Mac and cheese. Corn Mac chowder? and cheese. Corn, corn chowder. I make sausage peppers. Oh, and onions. I had that too. The mm -hmm. sausage yes. hot dogs. And it's all homemade. Hot dogs. And it's yep. So Popcorn, inexpensive. A little bit of everything. It really yeah, is. Yeah, so people can grab something to eat. Yeah. We'll have tables and chairs there. They can sit, mm -hmm. eat quickly, and, and shop around oh. and yeah, visit all the vendors. Boy, it's a great um, it's a lot it's a of great fun. fundraiser it, for it, yeah, the it's, senior it's truly center. A yeah. fun a big, fundraiser. Yes, you know? it's a big you know, fundraiser. Yeah. And a lot of work. It, oh, a lot of yeah, and you know behind the scenes. It yeah, sure is. It but is. It's, and it's, we're going to have Santa Claus this year. Yeah, for the kids. For the kids. Oh, very yeah. nice. Yeah, we're going to have wow. Santa Claus and an elf. Mm -hmm. And they're all going to get a little present, so bring your children down to oh, very see nice. Santa Claus and give the list. Uh, that's <laughs> all. It's a great time. <laughs> it's going to be a good time. Uh, yes, yeah, we'll fill you in on how everything went, too. But, uh, Bonnie, that's great. Yeah. So we'll, we'll be there, good. that's for sure. Yeah, and and I'd like to mention, um, before we take a break, on November 9th from 1 to 2 at the Senior Center located at 535 Mammoth Road, the Senior Resource Committee for the Town of Londonderry will be hosting a public forum. Um, it's for seniors to come with any questions they might have about services in the Town of Londonderry, um, any suggestions that they may have, and we'll have representatives from the Senior Resource Committee there to uh, hopefully be able to answer your questions, and if not, we will get answers for you. So, um, also we have Meals on Wheels that day. Uh, if you'd like to come for lunch, at, served at 11.30, please call the Senior Center first and um, we'll let you know what the meal is and you would need to sign up ahead of time for that. There is a su suggested donation for that meal and um, we'll give you the information if you call the Senior Center. So it's 432-8554 and we hope that most of our seniors will come out if we have had representatives mm -hmm. go to the over 55 communities mm -hmm. so if you happen to miss when they visited your community please come to the senior center on November 9th and that's my little time. spiel Good. Good. Yeah. Good. and don't forget senior center we say 55 and older but you can you can be younger than inquiring about a neighbor you have a, a parent that's okay. aging an right. aunt an uncle um, maybe you're in your 30s or 40s but you have suggestions because as we all know it you know it, it all moves eventually right. and you're a caretaker yeah. of a senior right. and you need Absolutely. more information about something yeah. and London Dairy is growing day. so uh, we right. want to know your ideas and suggestions so please come okay. if you can and pass the word okay. so all right we take okay our I take think our it's time positioned. all right okay I'll be right back. soon Welcome back, and we're excited to get started. So, Connie, we are all yours. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Okay. So, the first thing we'll do, we're going to go over some of the basic movements of Yang style Tai Chi. The first thing that we need to do is we need to get a strong foundation. So, you want your feet to be shoulder width apart, so you have good lateral balance, but you want your body relaxed. So, don't lock your knees. Unlock the knees so they're slightly flexed. Your body is upright, but not tense, not like military style. Relax, relax. You feel the effect of gravity. Shoulders are down. Arms hang heavy and natural at your sides. And when you breathe, breathe deeply and gently. This is your standing position in Tai Chi. It's the position that all movement begins with, and we always end in the standing position. Now to, busy, to quiet our busy minds, we do a centering movement. Let your arms, palms up, they just float up, float through the air, bringing all your attention into your body. Bring them down the front of your body. And relax. Then we want to change our position from the standing to the wide stance. So shift your weight to one leg and step out with the other one into a wide stance. You want it to be wide enough to challenge your body, but not so much that you're compromising your balance. Okay? And your weight is evenly distributed on both legs. 
50-50. Knees are soft. Yeah, we'll do that later. Okay. <laughs> Remember, I'm the boss. 50-50, <laughs> okay. Now relaxing the upper body. Just let your shoulders and arms relax. We do a basic shifting. You shift your weight to this side. And let this leg relax. Try not to lock the knee. And shift your weight to this side. It's your basic Tai Chi shift. And shift. Now from the middle, we'll give the arm something to do. As we shift over to this side, this arm, this is my right arm, so that would be your left arm, is going to circle, come up, and float across your line of vision like a little cloud floating across the sky. Lower it, shift to the center. It's a cloud hand. Try to relax your shoulders. Feel your body shifting side to side. Relax your elbows and fingers. We'll do it one more time. Relax your arm. Now we need to balance the yin and the yang, so what we do on one side, we'll do on the other. So now we're going to shift to this side, and this would be your right hand circle. Floats by your line of vision like a little cloud. Let it float down. Try not to control it, just let it happen. And relax the body. Now we'll do a shifting and turning of the waist. So you shift your weight to the side and then turn your waist. The lower back and waist area, that's one part of your body that really stiffens up as you get older. Shift to the middle, to this side and turn. So we want to work at keeping it loose and flexible. Come back to the center. Try to let your arms just hang. Relax the arms. Back to the center. Now see if we can incorporate some of the breathing. When you come to the center, you breathe in, and exhale as you turn. Breathe in, and exhale. Good, good, good. Breathe in, and exhale. And relax the body. Still staying in the wide stance. I'm going to do this one in reverse because it's easier to follow. Now we'll do what's called a pivot turn. Pivot turn is a little more challenging on the balance. You shift your weight to the right leg, pick up the toes of your left foot, pivoting on the heel. See how it's turning me? And then I drop my foot and I shift forward. And I shift back. Okay, we'll, we'll do it. Let's, everybody on the same. Let's do it all together. Toes to the front. Shift your weight right. Pivot on your left heel, relaxing your upper body. Shift two-thirds of your weight forward. Now shift your weight back. We'll go forward one more time. Both feet are flat on the floor. That's called being rooted. Now we'll add a hand movement. Again, we'll add that circle, wave hands like clouds. This time it will be your right hand. As you shift forward, the right hand forms a very graceful and relaxed circle. Shift your weight back. It floats down behind you. Just do deep, relaxed, natural breathing. Try to relax your shoulders. Now with the weight on your right leg, pick up your toes, turn to the front, and your weight is centered again. Now we do the same thing on the other side. Shift your weight to the left. Pick up your right toes and pivot on your heel. Drop your foot and shift forward. Shift your weight back. Shift forward. And we'll add the cloud here. 
on your left hand surface. Relax the arm, toes to the front, and stand in a standing position. How's that feel? Good. 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 Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah. Pretty good. Yeah. Well, we've, we've practiced quite a bit. <laughs> yeah. You now, really feel it. Oh, you can feel it. Yeah. It doesn't look like much is happening, but you'll yeah. It's surprising. So we've shifted side to side. We've mm -hmm. shifted and turned. Now we're going to take what's called a diagonal step. A diagonal step is when you step out in Tai Chi, it's not like you're walking, you know, walking in front like you normally do. Mm -hmm. You step out to the side, and you touch down with your heel, drop the toe, that's it, and then shift forward and shift your weight back. Try to keep both feet. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you want to keep your, foot, your feet flat Always. on the floor. You keep mm -hmm. them, it's called rooted. It's as though you almost feel, you can feel the pull of gravity holding you safely in place. Okay, so stand back in the standing position. Shift your weight to the right leg and step out in your left diagonal. Shifting forward, shifting back. Now we're going to move both hands. They're going to float up. This is called gathering earth energy. As you shift forward, your hands float up just to shoulder height. Notice you lead with the wrist, the fingers follow, elbows are down, shift your weight back, and the hands come down to beside your thighs. Relax your shoulders. You feel as though your arms are floating in a pool of water. Now try breathing in as they float up, and exhale as they float down. Shift the weight to your left leg and step out of your right diagonal. And shift forward. And shift your back. And forward. Now, with your palms facing forward, we'll do a movement called drawing down the energy of the heavens or the universe, however you want to look at it. As you shift forward, your hands float up just to shoulder height, and then you rotate them slowly. And down again, shift your weight back. This is like storing the energy in your body. And gather the chi. And store the chi. Try to relax your hands and fingers. That's why it is so great for seniors, especially, you know, you get someone who hasn't exercised at all, mm -hmm. and it's just such an easy form of exercise right. to do that, that we can keep doing it forever. Really nice. and, but, you know, I even think, like, with younger, like, my two daughters being, you know, oh, I mean, yes. something with the stress of school and, like, like just yeah. to do that before yeah. you go to bed at night or when you're feeling stressed with school or, mm -hmm. or if you're out walking up the yeah. and, just, and oh, you get that yeah. inspiration, that one moment of the right. sunlight coming oh, through the trees right. and just... Oh. Breathe in and gather all the energy. Oh, uh, amazing. Yeah. You know, but Connie, we cannot thank you enough. Well, because we learned a lot. Thank you. Thank for you. Having you. Uh, you yes. have, and thank you Good. so much. And uh, viewers at home, too, remember you could um, watch this again and do it right along with us. Yep. Mm -hmm. Because um, Connie explained it so well. So um, we hope you do. And we will see you for episode 22. And don't forget. Oh. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Our email address is the Londonary View oh, 4 yeah. at gmail.com. And, and also, we have a Facebook page now. It's the London Dairy View. Please join us on the Facebook page, share like us. us, and share us.
Thank you. Good night. Good night. Good night.